Hello, my name is Tyler Jones, and I'm the beverage product engineer here at Chart Industries. Today we're going to talk about the VLCD unit, which is Vertical Liquid Carbon Dioxide Unit. Today we have the 1900. There are two models, a 950 and a 1900. 1900 refers to the amount of CO2 in pounds that this unit holds. The 950 is simply one tank instead of two. So let's talk a little bit about the VLCD 1900. The VLCDs have a DOT special permit indicated here and here. This allows us to transport liquid CO2 in these vessels and dispense from these vessels. Most of our beverage tanks are ASME tanks, as you know, which means they're stationary. But the DOT special permit allows us to use this as a delivery unit. So, let's do a brief overview of the VLCD 1900. You can use one of these in place of a delivery truck. You can fill these tanks and deliver liquid and gas from these tanks just as if you have a large bulk tank. This is our fill unit. We have a fill valve and your fill connection here. You also have a check valve in place, so you can leave this fill valve open. We include a 5-8 flared fitting that goes with our transfer hoses, which I have attached to you. You can use this to fill the VLCD just fine. We do, however, give you the opportunity to change out the fitting if you so desire. We give you a female elbow here so that you can change out to put whatever fitting you would like. We do ask, however, that you only fill through the fill circuit and through no other method. These two tanks are actually manifolded together here on top so that they both fill equally. Now, when filling the VLCD, of course you'll want to vent. So we've also manifolded the vents together, and we give you two vent valves here. So just as in all of your beverage tanks, you'll usually fill these by a pressure differential. When you vent, you'll open both of these valves. We do give you a check valve because it comes right by where you deliver liquid product from. But remember, and even though we give you a check valve here, when you deliver liquid or when you are done venting, you should close both valves. Now, we also give you external pressure building. At the bottom of each tank, you have a half inch yellow handled valve. And if you want to build pressure, turn them both on. If you'll come around here to the side. Each tank has their own pressure building regulator. Right here. It is set at 300 PSI. We give you relief valves on each side to protect uh, both lines from liquid entrapment. We also give you a parallel vaporizer for both tanks to better build pressure uh, under any circumstance. Now, there is a valve on top. We ask that you leave it open. It's important not to close it, because if you close it, you could trap liquid between here and the regulator. But that is, of course, why we have your 550 PSI relief valve. Now, if you want to dispense product from this tank, they're also manifold together, so they actually deliver product together equally. They're manifolded here across the front, comes right down here, and you have your liquid delivery valve. We also give you a strainer and a check valve. Through that valve, the product travels through the metering section. We have the turbines meter on this one. It's NTEP approved, weights and measures. And you have your, your turbine style meter, your temperature probe. And then right here we have a flow regulating valve which ensures that we keep liquid in the turbine so you're not reading gas pushing through that turbine. You're truly reading liquid. That, cause, that actually helps the gauge be a little more accurate. And 
attached here, we have a flare fitting where we've attached a fill hose or a, uh, a uh, delivery hose. As you see, we're going to just attach the standard uh, fill gun that we offer here at Char. Now, if I wanted to fill the VLCD unit, I would attach my hose to this, make sure my valve is open. I would open my transfer from my bulk tank. It has a pressure rose. Looking right here at your pressure gauge, you know, the pressure's beginning to equalize. I would then open the vent, which I would open both, which sounds like this. Then I finish filling, so I would close both of them. If I wanted to go fill, what I would do is I would, before I headed out on my route, I would open both pressure builders to make sure that I'm building pressure throughout the day, maintaining that pressure of at least 300 PSI so I can accurately transfer liquid to my uh, bulk tanks or my beverage tanks. Uh, so that actually simulates a normal delivery truck that's sitting at 295 to 310 PSI. Now let's talk about dispensing product from the VLCD. I have my transfer hose and my, or my fill hose and my fill gun ready. So I'm going to come over to my fill box. Get a good snug. And I would just come over, and I would open my valve here, and now I would actually fill up this hose full of water. So then all I have to do is open this, and now I'm filling. So just like any other uh, filling application that you use from your liquid delivery uh, trucks, you fill just the same way. So I'm done filling. I've still got product right here. I bent my uh, this right in here. I break it off. Now I'm done. I can close that. I would bent my hose. I'd be ready to go to my next place. And of course, the monitor would actually show how much, how many pounds of CO2 I had dispensed during my fill. I could print out ticket using the Bluetooth printer that we also offer. Take it into my customer, they would sign it, I would sign it, I have a copy, they have a copy. I would clear and reset my, uh, my flow meter here and be ready to go to my next place. That's the VLCD 1900. Thank you very much.